Well, it's a new era for the Real Housewives of New York City with a brand new group of ladies taking a bite out of the Big Apple. And they're wasting no time diving into everything from fashion to finances to friendship and feuds. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> I, feel I love girls night. Oh, my God. Oh. Did I break her vintage shirt? Hello. What are you serving, Uba? Chocolate dollars. And how much is it? $1.2 million. Oh, my God. The infamous shoe closet. I know. $62,000? Tom Cruise sent his kid here. You could be rubbing shoulders with that. Do you actually believe that I didn't come with you because I didn't want to blind coach? I do. Jenna leaving yesterday. Yeah, I know. And her house is by the ocean, you guys. Her house is not. <laughs> and a real housewife, Jessel, <laughs> joins me now. Welcome, Jessel. How are you? Thank you for having me. Listen, this is kind of like your first official week as a housewife. It is. The show premiered. How are you feeling? You know, it's it's such a funny feeling. It's like very out of body, I feel, almost. We, we filmed and you know, we're doing all the press and we're talking about the show, but until it airs, yeah. it doesn't fully hit you. I know. You you hosted a, a like a premiere party this past I week. I did, yeah. So what was it like watching it? And that was bold to watch it with other people I think I feel like I would have probably watched the first one alone <laughs> well we uh, the, the premiere party happened after the fact but okay. you heard what happened at the actual premiere party probably I was sick and so I wanted to do a redo oh um, okay yeah <laughs> well there's a lot of firsts with this cast including you as the first South Asian housewife did that impact your decision to do this like yeah you know what I need to represent absolutely listen there is probably what like 1.5 billion Indians in the world and, and 50 in the media and so it was really important for me to not represent a culture, but really, you know, kind of be there out, yeah. and, out and doing what I'm doing, you know? Yeah. Well, the big argument of the first episode, because there's going to be a lot of arguments to come, there I'm sure. Are. But the first one is over a cheese plate. <laughs> for real, it's over a cheese plate. Is that kind of a, a sign of what's to come, or do they, they get a lot deeper and a lot more dramatic? You know, it, the show really takes you on a roller coaster. I mean, we have really fun moments over petty feuds like that but then yeah. it does get you know quite intense at times too so I think it's got a really good balance of, of that funny mo of those funny moments and then you know they're not so yeah. emo more emotional moments and there's always a mix of personalities so like how do you describe yourself would you think would you say that you're a pot stir or a problem solver oh you're gonna have to watch and see <laughs> <laughs> now I think everyone sort of has their moment you know yeah. it's uh, in, in a group of friends it's always the case I yeah. think there's always one person who's a little bit more of a neutralizer or yeah. someone that's you know kind Sometimes of Sometimes you're just having a day yeah you you're know? just having a day um, but everyone plays their part and I think that changes um, and into we as we sort of like get through the show yeah and you come from the world of PR and fashion which can be very cutthroat. So that just kind of prepare you for the nature of reality TV, which can be cutthroat too. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, in, in the fashion industry, everyone's, you know, very outspoken. They're not af afraid to share their opinions. It's like, oh my God, honey, what shoes are you wearing with that dress? Like, it's very, very, it's very cutthroat. And yeah. I think the show in itself is uh, a good representation of that. Yeah. yeah. What has surprised you the most about this experience so far? Like, did you go in? with an open mind or did you go in with a, a set goal? Um, I went in very open-minded to be honest you know I wanted you to show to. the world yeah you really yeah. do have to um, I just wanted to show the world our little family and, and kind of you know what we're, we're, what we're doing um, it's been really fun can I just ask you about your family? I know we get to see your family, get to see you in Chelsea, your beautiful apartment in Chelsea. You have all white furniture. I only, I, there, I'm just going to say that I say this with no judgment because I have young kids and I have all white couches too. Yeah. How are they faring? Why did you make that decision? <laughs> My producer was like, ask her about the white furniture and the kids. And I'm like, I have it too. So many people have asked me. Well, you know, it, for me, being in fashion, it's like you sort of come from that world of like minimalism and chicness. And then I had kids. Pops of color. Pops accent. of color. You sort yeah. of, you know, um, however, on Sunday, my husband actually bought purple glue for his watch, and now that purple glue is all over our white rug. So oh, no. I did really well to try and keep it white, but now it's white with like you know tie dye. So it got ruined from your husband and not your children. Exactly. And that's what happened in my house. <laughs> okay, you can catch the Real Housewives of New York City Sundays at 9 p.m. on Bravo and streaming the next day on Peacock. Sorry, Matthew, if you're watching. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> of course.